They have endured all kinds of harsh weather conditions, including sandstorms and rain, in the past 15 months. Most Otoya residents are now relieved to finally move out of the tents. I'm happy, I'm happy to the government what they, they, they do to us. What they do to us, they must do to, to the others who, who need the help. Thank you for the government. Thank you for our, gov our governor. The fire brigade is moving the residents in groups of 50 over the next three days. As the first group moved into their new one-bedroom units, disgruntled residents who currently stay in shacks confronted the Valfis Bay Rural Councillor about alleged irregularities in the housing list. Councillor Tegako Donates called for the suspension of the relocation process for those who allegedly tampered with the list to come clean. We cannot have a, 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 a national project whereby people from the street are taken to, to run over the, the, the administration that's supposed to be done at the office either of the governor or the regional councillor. Now, a certain pe people called a committee have got the power even to overrule the councillor or to overrule the governor. And now, who is now going to be accountable for this mess? I'm not around. I'm, I'm not available for that. Project manager Raymond Peterson says the list is legitimate because there was a resolution approved to build houses for fire victims only and not for people who rented out or sold their shacks at Tualoloka. He says when people heard that houses were going to be built for fire victims, many popped up from nowhere, claiming their shacks bent down at Tualoloka. If you have people or uh, people who resided with you the time of the fire it means that the owner of the ghetto received the certificate and if the person move he must take the people to be with them and and this is where this these discrepancies are coming up that people in two in one house want four houses four people in one house they want four houses and it's not allowed like that then we could have bring a lot of other people into the system. The houses currently do not have electricity, while residents are expected to connect them to water at their own cost. They will pay $40,000 over a period of 15 years, and that money will be used to build more low-cost houses. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Valfis Bay.